So my testimony is very similar to Kim's, but um, I have a little bit of backstory um, just to keep you up to pace to how what built up to my encounter. Um, five weeks ago, I went in for a mammogram appointment, and um, on the way there, I hit road construction. So I start following detour signs. About the third sign, it just jumped right out to me, the, the detour. And I felt immediately the Lord say to me, whatever your health issues are going to be, it's just going to be a detour in your life, okay? So I'm thinking, hmm, <laughs> does that mean something's going on? And the second thought was, thank you, Lord, it's not a dead-end street sign. <laughs> so I go on. We ha- I have the mammogram. It's followed up by a biopsy. And a few days later, I found out that... <clears throat> I only tear up when I'm telling people <laughs> that the news that um, that there was cancer, both sides, two different kinds. So, yeah, shocker, <laughs> um, very upsetting and um, scary. And But then that message came back, detour, detour. And I couldn't, I was like, thank you, Lord, for that. You knew, you knew, and you were just preparing me, and you're using that to just, that base level of peace that has just been consuming me for five weeks. And um, so with that being there, I, find, I said to the Lord, okay, okay, if I'm going to go through this, um, I, I don't want to just be prayed for and then kind of hold my breath and see what happens. I don't want to just tolerate this thing. I want to grow. I want to encounter you through this. I want... Um, prophetic words from people. I want to impact other people through this. I just, I want to come out spiritually stronger. And um, funny, he just said, me too. (laughs) And uh, I'm like, okay, let's go. Um, So that's what this five weeks has been, is just when you ask something like that, it almost got to a point, I told Deb Trins, like, I'm like, it's a little overwhelming. I kind of, I'm like, hold on, (laughs) let me digest all this stuff. But that brings us to um, one of those things that happened a week ago Saturday. I'm in bed all by myself. I wake up. John and Sophie are out of town. I wake up. And just like Kim, must be a thing for God to use the alarm clocks because I look, 448. And it's just like, take note. Take note of that, 448. I go to lay back down, and a wave of fear just came over me. And it hit me, it started out with, I'm really afraid for my family, I'm afraid for the medical bills, I'm afraid for um, what the MRI results are going to be, and I mean, it was just, started storming, it was building and building, and I started crying, and um, at first the tears were cleansing and a release, but then it got messy, <laughs> and it's that kind of cry where you're just like shaking, and your eyes hurt, my stomach hurt, my head hurt, and then finally, the fear of all fears, I have cancer. It comes with a survival rate. That's not a good thing. That's scary, God, and, and then it was that moment that I had to choose. Am I just going to lay here and just say, you know, I sing those songs at church about him lifting me out of my fears. What do I do to put some meat on those bones? And I go, okay, God, I'm calm down. What do you have? And he's like, 448. I'm like, a a verse? I grab my Bible thinking, what are the odds? What are the odds that anything's really going to work here? And and then all of a sudden he's like, no, chapter 44, verse 8. I go, okay. What book? Isaiah. And um, I memorized it, but I don't want to miss the impact here. I opened up Isaiah 44, verse 8. Do not tremble. Do not be afraid. Have I not stated from the start what my purposes are for you? You are my witness. Is there any other God? There is no other rock. Not one. I mean, only a God, a good God, can take what those fears what the devil's trying to throw at me through all of this. And he's like, let me take care of the cancer. You take care of what the devil's trying to do with your mind and your emotions. And that's what he gives me. And it's just, it's real, folks. It's real. (laughs)
Amen. You need to stay here.